At Sötes Sjukhuset in Stockholm, only 5% of the people who suffer cardiac arrest outside the hospital survive. The critical factor is to administer CPR, cardiopulmonary resuscitation, quickly after a heart stops. For each minute CPR is not performed, the chance of surviving is reduced 10%. In Stockholm alone, about 900 people suffer cardiac arrest outside the hospital. The figure is 10,000 nationwide in Sweden. On the initiative of the Cardiac Arrest Group at Sjöderskurkuset, the SMS Liv Reddare Rescue Project was started in May 2010 to improve the survival rate for heart attacks. The service is initially being provided in the downtown area of Stockholm. When an emergency alarm is received to report a person suffering cardiac arrest, Mobile positioning technology is used to increase the chance of survival by locating a person who can administer CPR before the ambulance arrives on location. People skilled in the CPR emergency procedure can be quickly on location to administer this first aid. For every minute that passes after a heart stops, the chances of survival decrease by 10%. In Stockholm, it takes an ambulance an average of 10 to 12 minutes to arrive on the scene so many lives can be saved for every minute of this time that can be shortened. When someone suffers from a cardiac arrest, uh, they get unconscious and collapse almost immediately. And after four or five minutes, the chance of severe brain damage is imminent. And after eight to 10 minutes, the chance of survival is really slim. But if someone is there to perform cardiopulmonary resuscitation, the chance of survival increase. And uh, this is why we use the SMS Livredar project to, to locate people with skills and knowledge that are willing to participate and to act and, and try to save another person's life. And uh, in the future we hope to sort of connect this SMS Livredar project along with the, with the National Registry for uh, AEDs in Sweden, so we can Perhaps we can locate lifesavers that can rush to the place and perform cardiopulmonary resuscitation. And uh, also someone who can rush to, uh, to get an AED. And by doing that we strengthen the, the chain of survival. So we're going to work alongside with the, with the dispatch center with SOS Alarm and sort of get these things together. And that would be really effective we think. When the emergency call comes in to SOS Alarm, an SMS is sent to the CPR trained volunteers who are located within 500 meters. And the SMS contains address information and a link to a map. The SMS is followed by a voice call, an automated voice call, uh, to bring extra attention to the mobile phone. And uh, the recipient get the possibility to reply to these messages and confirm uh, the alert or reject it. The big challenge with this system is that we have to limit the number of searches. And uh, we use the information uh, where people uh, work or their home to be able to determine uh, quickly who are most likely to be in the area and uh, they can then be positioned uh, and found within 500 meters. Uh, I was one of the first uh, to put my cell phone in the registry, of course, uh, but just yesterday I had my first alarm and I, I rushed to the place uh, and I arrived after the ambulance and after me there were, I think there were two or three more SMS lifesavers that arrived there. So it was really cool to see the entire thing is working. The fire department arrived and the, and the police uh, as well. So it's really great to see the cooperation and uh, it's, it's great to be part of it. It's really good. <laughs>